Welcome back, one and all, to Thionite Plays Super Paper Mario. On the last episode, we got our Peach Princess GF. She does the tax evasion, and she's looking to expand her art fraud empire into Flipside. So, we're going to make this work. We are going to make this work. Merlin the Melon, creator of Flipside, also gave us a town. And the town's name is Seinfeld. Peach is a fan. You may expect Peach to have the ability to do, like, a lot of artsy-fartsy type stuff with, you know, her castle being full of art. But when in reality, she has a dark secret. And I hate to be the one to tell everyone this, but Peach does have a very, very dark secret. And it does, you may, you may imagine, it does have to do with Seinfeld. She makes very strange paintings of the characters in Seinfeld. She has an entire wing of her castle dedicated to pictures of Jerry Seinfeld. And I, I don't know where the obsession came from. Like we've we've spoken to her about the obsession in the past, but I, I really, I, I, I don't know where it comes from. We don't have television in the Mushroom Kingdom. It's a very strange obsession for her to have, all things considered. But, ooh, a sign. What does the sign say? Your hallway is an impossible act of geometry, monsters only. Well, that's good to know. That is, that's that's good to know. Uh, there's a pillar out there. <gasps> red blocks. We love red blocks. I can't get up there though. I don't have the ability to fly. Mario does not have the ability to fly, but that's fine. We know where we're going. Merlin gave us a key. We locked ourselves out of the third dimensional locked door and we're good. We are indeed good. So this is the next location that we need to do. On this episode, we do need to find out where we need to put the next pure heart. That is, an, uh, that is a, a suspicious pit. Look at these pillars. They are conspicuously raised and conspicuously lowered. Remember this. Remember this for the future. I'm sure it'll come in handy at some esoteric location. But there's a pipe. Can I... Can I... Do I remember something correctly? No, I could have sworn. I could have sworn. That is a tall pillar. Is there anything beyond said pillar? I've trapped Mario between the pillar of the heavens and the edge of the world. Merlin has not made it possible to go past the edge of the world. We need to work on that. Maybe Merlin can institute some kind of DLC for Flipside that'll allow us to go past the edge of the world. We'll make it work. This box is at an angle. How? How? This is a game. This is this is literally a game of boxes, squares, and straight lines. How is it possible for this box to be at an angle? That's like that's not even a forty-five degree angle. That's got to be like, like a like a thirty degree angle. That's crazy. Oh, a pit. I knew I remembered something. I knew I remembered there was a, a pitfall. Pit. Pitfall. Fall in the pit chests. <gasps> Mer lovely card. Oh my god, I got Mer lovely's trading card. That's fantastic. Can I look at these cards? I feel like I should be able to look at these cards. And a Merlin card. Can I look at the cards items? Do I have to go to like the the game show place for that? I feel like I need to go to the game show place for that. We're not going to worry about that. No, we're not. Can I jump across? I can. <gasps> a squig. <laughs> I've got your cookie. Stupid squig. This is mine now. I'm going to keep this forever. I can step on you. It was like, look at it. This is either, this is either, this is one of three things. This is either a cookie, a coconut, or a bowling ball. If it's a cookie, the placement of the chocolate chips makes sense. If it's a bowling ball, it doesn't because then your fingers are at a, like an odd, odd angle at a triangle. Like you have your thumb hole at the bottom and that makes sense. And you got your, you got your pointer finger right there, but you also, you got your, your ring finger hole, like, at a strange angle up above. This is a, a this is a malformed bowling ball. But if it's a coconut, it makes sense as well. Can I break these? Wait, they, this stuff has collision? I can literally just set this on the ground? Wow, I never knew this. Unfortunately, I can't break the red bricks. This is the red brick. Oh, it disappeared. Oh, it's a secret. Oh, there's the pillar. All right, progress, progress. Wait, is that a sign? Can I read the sign? Mario can read. Hey, hero, feeling stumped? 
not really. I've never seen a tree in my life. Try flipping, it's pretty basic. Yeah, all, all of your advice in this universe just amounts to the same thing. It's just like, try flipping, it'll help you. Why did that? It's supposed to shoot me off to the other side. It's fine. <gasps> More squigs. Damage. Oh no, not the damage. This is an odd place for geometry. This is, these pillars are actually extremely sticky. They're like made of solid bits of glue. Ow, leave me alone. Stop, you purple squig, you're made of, I don't know, like purple plaid? Can I, can I cheese this? Can I like, if I jump, throw, I need you to throw me. You're going to have to toss me throw. Henry Thoreau, or James Thoreau, I don't, I don't know. Oh, this is, can I? I want to do it. Clip through the wall, Mario, clip through the wall. It's not gonna work, is it? Probably not gonna work, that's unfortunate. Can I, I can't go. It's fine, it's fine, I know what I need to do. I am kind of smart occasionally. The giant void in the sky is getting bigger though, which is a concerning thing. Up we get. And now we can read the sign yet again. This is the sign reading episode. The heart pillar is ahead. The best route you ask, float across the stone tops. All right, I can manage. And by I can manage, I mean, I have the power of a parasol. We have since had a biology lesson about the parasol and we have de decided, decreed, we have uncovered that it is of the species Parasolus largisicus. It is an abnormally large species of Parasolus, which is the reason why Peach has, you know, kept it captive, because she is a massive fan of oddities. Anyway, put the thing in the thing. Behold, I have torn this heart out of something. Where did I get this? Oh, I got this from the, yes, I got this from the onion fairy. A Celebi gave this to me. Gorgeous, look at this, it's drawing doors. Door, it's made of orange. It looks great, look at that, it's an orange door. We are definitely, by the end of this, going to work through every single color of the rainbow. You've heard of RGB pixels, butterflies, birds even? Well, Peach, Mario, they're going to be masters of the RGB doors. How do I get back? Don't I have an item for this? I have like a bit of cinnamon. Oh God, Thro is shaking his cloaca quite viciously. Where is the thing? How do I, how do I, how do I, I have a pipe, right? Oh, there we go. Cards, there, there, there it is. How do I, yes. Goomba, why is it, oh, it's a one star rarity. Interesting. Where are the other ones? Go down. Buzzy Beetle, Squiglet, Spring Oing 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 Oing, Boomboxer, all the way at the bottom. Oh my god, there are so many enemies. How are there... How is it... How? 256 enemies, that's crazy. What is Merlin? Oh, look at Merlin. He's a Merlin. Merlin. This wise and old sage is a descendant of the ancients. How? The A button. Oh, that's weird. That is weird. He helps Mario to decode the light prognosticus. Thanks. Thanks for this info. That's incredible. What does Mer Lovely have to say? This fortune teller with a wild laugh lives in Flipside. She uses the stars to read your future. Sort of. She also just has a magic eight ball under her desk, which she consults with, with the speed that would confound even the most crazy of individuals. Merlovely is a being that's constantly shaking. Like, she is anxious to, like, she takes anxiousness, the state of being, of being anxious, to the nth degree, and will constantly hold on to an eight ball. And she's just like, she's trembling, and that eight ball is always being shaken about. And like, that's how, that's how she gets the answers. Because if you hold on to her hands while she's shaking the eight ball, the energies from you pass to her and vibrate at a frequency that resonate with the eight ball and to divine the future. One time someone asked Mer Lovely a question, will I be happy in my marriage? And then the eight ball said, no. 
And th this is a sad tale. It's and admittedly it's a sad tale because not three months later they ended up getting divorced. And it it was a, it was a clean divorce. Like there was no animosity or anything. It's just they kind of, the the spark just extinguished. They fell out of love, and well, divorce was the natural next step to that. So it. it they're still in contact. They're still friends. They, they they just couldn't live with each other. So the eight ball, the eight ball is a is a bit of a know it all, but it does know all. So even if it, even if it's a bit of a uh, arrogant sob when it comes to giving information, it does do it quite well. Do I have an item for this? I can, no, that's not my where important things. I would put my magic pipe made of licorice and gumdrops into my important bag. If you use a return flight. You'll go to flip side. Yes. Yes, I will. I would like to. By the power of escape ropes. Because I'm spinning. This is great. Oh, we're at the top of the tower. I thought we would go somewhere else. But I suppose we are going on an adventure to the next location. Through the orange door we carry on. This orange door is quite a bit taller than us. I do not like it when my characters are smaller than the doors. The doors need to be smaller than us. That way we need to awkwardly crouch down. What? Do you guys not agree? Throw. Do you not agree that having doors smaller than you is the optimal way to live life? Stop trying to get behind me. Why does everyone want to stay behind me? It's so inconvenient. I want you guys to look me in the eyes when I talk to you. All right, let's go to the next location. Let's get this going. Let's actually make some progress. With Princess Peach at his side, Mario set out once again, bound for adventure. This time, our heroes were tasked with finding the mysterious charmer, Merle. If Merlin was right, then Merle was the key to finding the next pure heart. Never one to flinch from danger, Mario sets out to find Merle's mysterious mansion. But... <coughs> Little did he know, he'll choke if he tries to talk about it any more than he has. The evil works of the dastardly Count Bleck awaited him at every turn. Welcome, one and all, to Chapter 2-1, Bogging to Merleys. A brand spanking new world earns itself an absolutely incredible intro. Look at the land, it's gorgeous. Lots of mysterious plants. The grass is very tall. Oh, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. We love the new worlds. The pure heart is somewhere up ahead. Yes, it must be, but it could be a ways off though. I'm sure no matter how far away it is, we will find it eventually because that's what we are. Persistent, we are heart chasers and we chase hearts. Like, Princess Peach has a nose for hearts. Like, she 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 is a breaker of hearts and a finder of hearts. She'll, like, break your heart and then find the shards and then put it back together and then be like, I have your heart now. I can use this for furthering my money laundering schemes. Certainly. Thanks for your help, Tippy. We have an entire new area. Gloam Valley. With the power of my parasol, I will save the world. You've heard of the Avatar who can save the world and Jerry Seinfeld who could save the bees? Well, Princess Peach, she can save the gloam. Where are we going? I can't flip with Peach. Oh, that is an inconvenient. Brick. Princess Peach can also break bricks. And she can pick up, ow! Here, I, I can, I, ow, no, Peach, can you swim? How do I, I need, I need this Goomba Fine, I can't deal with the Goomba because no one has a mushroom. <gasps> cheap Cheap! Can I have you? No, 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 no. I want you. I want the Cheap Cheap. I want this Cheap Cheap. <gasps> I got the Cheap Cheap. I got the Cheap Cheap. I am going to take this fish out of water. No, 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 no. Peach. No, no, no. Ah, oh, Peach is dying. I can't carry Cheap Cheaps into the void. All right, fine. Lesson learned. I'll be careful. Oh, I have 4 HP. <laughs> I am dying. <laughs> I need to not be stupid. That's a hard thing for me to do. Like, that's a really hard thing for me to for me to do. I don't think it's possible. Where are we going? We're looking for places. Okay, that beeping is going to get... Wow, even Mario shares the beeping. Okay, fine. You know what? We, we, need, we need to solve this. Can I eat the dried shroom? One HP. 
All right, yeah, at least it stops the beeping. Where are we going? What is, where? Oh, the bricks, of course. How could I forget my multi-dimensional bricks? Up we go. Uh, Koopa, I'm going to need to ask you to, how how does this work physically? Like, you're, you're flying upside down and you're still flapping your wings. I'm just gonna, does that kill him? That really shouldn't kill him because, you know, he can fly. I suppose it ultimately doesn't matter. I'm just going to use my parasolus to get a closs, a cross, not a closs, into the pipe. We will traverse the pipes. <gasps> squigs! We love our squigs. Squig, 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 squig. They're all dead. We killed the squigs. What is happening? The world is unveiling a box. Thank you, world. Welcome, world. It's a door key. A door to a key in Gloam Valley. Reverse those words. But it's fine. It is indeed. All oh, the birds are back. And by... Do Koopa or do paratroopers count as birds? Are there birds in the Mario universe? Or is there just winged turtles? Like, they're still Koopas, but are they technically different species? Don't go for a swim. Because, like, birds... Birds don't exist in this reality. I can't think of a single bird that exists here. There's probably some esoteric bird, like a vulture somewhere. <gasps> Mini dudes! <gasps> Look at my tiny princesses. Me and the girls are coming to a party. We are totally gonna do this. <laughs> Get in, princess. We're partying. Oh, you stupid. You killed one of my girls! Oh, how dare you? They can jump on people themselves. There's a door in a conspicuous place. Ow! I thought my I thought the girls would have been able to deal with the piranha pipe, but evidently incorrect. To the sky we go. Oh, they have windmills. Oh, they have clean energy here. That's kind of shocking. Peach does not invest in the infrastructure to support clean energy like that. Princess Peach is a bit of a interesting character when it comes to what she prioritizes in her own kingdom. Oh, we're in the background. Oh, the girls have got this. The girls have got this in the, the foreground, but I've got this in the background. Wow, they have a lot of windmills. Man, good on them. Good on Merle for supporting that kind of uh, environmental protection. If this unlocks this door, what was the purpose of the other door? Oh, we still got one of them. They're still coming with it. They're very slow. I wonder why that is mechanically. Like, why are they so much slower? Strange. Man, this beeping is even worse than Zelda. And that's kind of shocking. Eat the shroom shake and then don't be an idiot. What is in this middle door? Oh, I've only got two of the girls. I can't believe we only have two of them. Oh, can they not follow me in through doors? Oh, no, they can. Um, you're... You're, you're a prisoner. Why is there a pris- there, there is an individual with a ball and chain attached to their legs. Do you need help, sir? Hi, yes, ma'am. Oh my god, I can't believe it. I got out of that prison. I was in a chain gang and I took the pickaxe to the chain and I, well, I had to get out before the ball and chain. Uh, they've got, they have a tracker in the ball and chain. You've got to help me. Oh, hot. Sorry, I, I was kind of I was trying to inscribe a meaning onto your life, but you just care about the fact that there's a hot girl in front of you. How do you know I'm a girl? I'm a princess. I'm made of mushrooms. Mushrooms don't have genders. I procreate by spreading spores everywhere. Once every decade, Princess Peach will kind of just, you know, bloat to mysteriously large sizes and then just spores everywhere and then a new generation of toads just spring up from the ground I, I i don't princess peach is a strange act of biology oh we must have been fated to meet yes we have no trust me we haven't we're we're not fated i would never date a man with that square of a jawline and that kind of gradient you you seem to be uh quite sickly with that kind of gradient you're my destiny no <laughs> my destiny is trying to find the, the uh nearest fast food joint i don't know do you have fast food joints in prison mcdonald's in prison would probably be either the most delicious or exponentially more disgusting 
Why did your head do that? It seems like you're balancing a bunch of plates on your head. How are you doing that? Please go out with me. No. Oh, what a silly man you are. I'm very sorry, but I don't date convicts. That would just set a terrible precedence and it would draw a lot of attention to my money laundering schemes. It's honestly a bit of a miracle that we've never been investigated because I talk about it so frequently. I need to leave now. Where? Merley's mansion? I wouldn't go there if I were you. You'll get trapped there and bad things will happen. Trapped? Bad things? My good sir, I, I, I don't think you quite know who you're talking about. I am the princess of getting trapped and having bad things happen to me. One time I got kidnapped by a Bowser and he put me in a castle and then he flew the castle into space. And then another time he flew it into the sky and held me hostage. And another time he tried to possess me and then send me off to do dastardly things. And then another time I got possessed by a shadow queen and that was a great time because I never felt more free and I feel like I should try and go back to that that was a good time in my life but then I yeah anyway sorry I get possessed and stolen and bad things happen to me a lot oh man 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 I don't even want to remember it what are you talking about stop jumping like that that's how you give yourself brain damage if you jump that frequently it's like the thing that happens to babies when you shake them it's like this for humans but how are you jumping with that ball? Like, it, that, that's, a, that's a ball and chain. How are you doing that? He's incredibly strong. Now that you're with me, you don't have to worry about all that, baby. Why? Do you have some kind of job lined up? Because I am your fate, your destiny. No, you're not. Uh huh. Thanks for the info. If I don't come back, will you perhaps try and save me? <laughs> oh, Princess Peach, the queen of hedging her bets. You know, like a certain mustachioed man used to do. Used to do? Used to do? Excuse me, Princess Peach, you'd be knocked unconscious, probably being, I, I, I don't know, ranted at by some individual who really likes soap operas, unconscious underneath a tower if it wasn't for me. I got soup for you. I rescued you from several bouts of possession. Used to do? Used to. I take an immense amount of umbrage with used to. Fine, Princess Peach, you can save yourself. Let it be known, I will not be saving Princess Peach in the future. Used to. What an ungrateful money launderer. Like, you would have... Ow! Would you please... How did I kill you? I didn't even know that those things could die. That's fine. Whatever. Whatever. Let's just continue. Break the box. <gasps> Invincibility. I am Infinite Peach. Look, she's upset with this. She is angry. Ooh. ooh. Do, 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 Mega Peach. I am Queen Money Laundra. I will destroy all of this. She has grown. She has become 16 Pixel Peach. 8 bit up to 16 bit. We've increased our pixel resolution. I will tear through all of the squigs. All of the squigs, they're mine. Except for you. No, come back. I wanted you to be mine forever. Ooh, that picture is taken moments before disaster. That that turtle shell is not going to be good for us, is it? Ow. Quick, get through the door. Alter reality. <gasps> More cheap cheeps. Ooh, a slow shrimp. Oh, she's upset. Whenever she gets items, she's so upset. This is a slow flower. It temporarily slows time to a crawl. You'll also earn triple the points and coins. Slow motion pe- What is this, a Zack Snyder film? I can't- It's surprisingly hard to control. I cannot- get over. I am multiple peaches. Oh, there are coins up there. How are, how, uh, well, we can't do that anymore. Sorry, peach. You, <laughs> you successfully used your slow flower all to the end of killing a single squig. Mario, can you flop into three dimensions? It doesn't exist. Oh, reality doesn't exist. Oh, uh, well, that's fine. What's the point, you may be asking? There is no point. There's no point to anything we do. Ooh, what is this? 
Ooh, flowers. Flowers raining from the sky. It's raining flowers. If only we had the slow f shroom for this. Squig, squig, squig. Squiggly squig. Squiggly fancy sin. Squidward and the squigs are cousins. What does this do? What is in the pipe? We can go in the pipe. Man, I'm a pipe genius. Master pipe. It's an empty room. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Tippy, for telling me about this. That's a switch. Even if you can't see it, you should still be able to activate it. Can you tell me about the pipe? With Peach's parasol, you should be able to make some long floating jumps. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Ooh, another pipe. Lovely. Where does this lead? They have a lot of defenses down here. Oh, hi. What are you? What are you? What are you? Tell me about yourself. That troublesome creature is a Gromiba. It can clone itself over and over again. Max HP is two, attack is one. If you defeat the main one, the clones will die. The primary one has slightly different moves and looks, so watch closely. If you don't want to bother, you could defeat them all with an item, though. What? What is? What? What is the difference? It went into the sky. I need it to not go into the sky. Ow! Can you come here? Ow! Can you come here? Stop going up. Stop splitting. I don't know which one is the real one. Are you the real one? You are the real one. I did it. It was a big chest. Ooh, we love big chests. What is inside? It's empty. It's empty. Boom. It's a blue bomb. Oh my God. Tears of the Kingdom walked so Super Paper Mario's bomb man can run. Good vibes. Them vibes set off my blow up stuff sensors. You like exploding? <laughs> oh, spow. I ain't sensed the real good blow stuff up vibes in, oh God, it's gotta be close to 1500 years now, my friends. Boom. I gotta check those vibes. A little closer, like. Don't, don't come any closer. If he gets a hold of my vibes, I'll never get them back. I've, I, I've accumulated only the best of vibes over the course of my long lifetime. It all started back when I was known simply as Jump Man, and I was climbing up scaffolding to rescue her. Back then, we were only dealing with monkeys and not Koopas. Man, back in the old days, those vibes, they were built on... A long, long line of successes and failures. Are you gonna keep rambling? That's not the kind of vibes we're after, dude. Anyway, check it out. Answer a couple questions real quick for me. Blam. Me? You want me to answer questions? I can't do that. It's not in my contract. I'm not obligated. Any questions I answer is out of pure goodness of my own heart. All right, it seems like you're on, I'm not willingly on board. Here we go, boom. You stay up wondering if anyone ever gives you presents to Santa. Like, like I know this is a bit of a tangent to all the things that are happening right now, and you may be the legendary hero, you may not be. These questions will decide. But honestly, Santa goes around the world, and he gives presents, or coal, to the good little boys and the naughty little boys of the world, right? Like, that. that's just, that's that's the narrative. But who gives presents to Santa? It's questions that need to be asked because I feel like I feel like Mrs. Claus she has her own way of rewarding Santa for all his hard work. But like who who doesn't? And if you ever think if you ever think about the logistics of Santa, I I I bomb man bomb man bomb man always uh, i have been of the opinion because i've had 1500 years to think about this it, it is a long time I've, I've had time to think but i think santa has cloaking technology he has to have invisibility technology because what i feel like he does what i what i my headcanon for santa is he uses his invisibility technology to hide the presence in people's houses year round and only disactivates turns off the invisibility on Christmas. So this, this this eliminates, this removes the biggest roadblock to Santa believers, right? Like, how does he get around the entire world in a single day? The answer is he doesn't. He hides the presents underneath the tree in the house up to a year in advance. 
that that's that's the only logical explanation. And yes, I have spent many sleepless nights on this line of thought. Incredible. You are a true sophist, sophisticate, thought provoker, philosopher even, one might say. For some reason, you clean your room before a test. Um, no. I live in squalor. Well, I, uh, D Princess Peach does technically keep strict cleanliness procedures in the house. Because again, she's the one paying the rent, so we kind of got to listen to her. But that only extends to the house itself, which is the reason why we have that money cave under the house and Luigi's book keeper place. His secret room for his diary under the house. Those are pigsties. But the main house itself is kind of clean. So, y y yeah. Let's just... This is a sarcastic uh-huh. This is like, huh? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Not an, not an uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. It's an, it's a, it's an uh-huh, uh-huh. Which is, you know, it conveys the meaning perfectly. When someone says, let's just be friends, you think, yeah, whatever. Um, is that what, it, is that the appropriate response to when someone says, let's be friends? I have never heard anyone say, let's be friends. It's normally, normally the friendships we build, are, it's just built off of mutual acquaintanceship and then it just snowballs. Because, like, we have friends, and it's like, we've always known friends. And then it was just like, we never we never became friends. We never agreed to be friends. It just kind of happened. So, yeah, I, I no doubt about it. Fake it till you make it and all that. Great, you're an incredibly sociable person, aren't you? But you also don't really understand why I'm asking you these questions, do you? Truer than true, I have no idea why a bomb is asking me so many philosophical questions about Santa, friendship, and the nature of existence. Well, let me tell you this new question. Because it doesn't matter if you don't understand why I'm asking you these questions, I'm going to ask you them anyway. Shopping online, wonderful, magical experience, convenient out the rear end. But what is the biggest pitfall to you, Jumpman Mario, Jumpman? Well, to me, the biggest pitfall is the hidden fees. Like, I, I to, like, say what you will about the convenience. And most of the time, some of the time, occasionally, the convenience outweighs the price that you'd pay for hidden fees. But like, if you go, like take take Goomba Dash, right? Like Goombas will deliver you food. Like there's like $20 worth of hidden fees. Like one time I had to shell out 50 extra coins. I ordered, I ordered a taco from the local Koopa store. And like, I don't understand. It was, it was a $9.99 deal for like two for one tacos. And I had to pay 50 coins for it. How do I buy two tacos for $9.99 and then ultimately end up paying the Goomba 50 coins? It doesn't make any sense. It It's just like, that's the least favorite thing. Yeah, I know, right? It's like one time I had to order a special iron atoms for sustenance in the chest and the local Goomba, he charged me 1,300 coins. It's like one coin for every year I needed to be in there. And it was just like, oh, it's like, I didn't even realize. It's like, I didn't have that many coins. I had to sell my line art. It's like, I don't have any line art. I just have this white outline. It, it's where, it where it, it's where I used to keep my lines, but it doesn't work. You once put on a shirt inside out, but didn't bother reversing it. Oh yeah, oh, that, that happens way more often. It's like the overalls, like they don't have any stitching. So it, it, it's impossible to say which is the inner and which is the outer section of the thing. You want to be sleeping? Oh God, yes. Oh, what I wouldn't do to take a nap. That, are, are, are you all right? Do, do you need to get some like, uh, I don't know, Pepto-Bismol? It's like, I have some in the chest. The Goomba, the Goomba dropped off some Pepto Bismol. So if, if you if you want to pick me up, you can. It it's it's only half empty and it's only like three centuries old, but it should still be good. When you're tired, you want to wake up? No, not really. When I'm tired, I want to sleep, and when I'm awake, I want to sleep. I just always want to sleep. You're getting real tired of these questions. I not really. I I could I could pontificate about the nature of questions forever. Instead, we're stuck here talking to a bomb. Got it. Got it. Got it. S boom. You got some tasty vibes. Oh, God. He ate my vibes. Oh, no. A bomb ate my vibes. What am I going to do? How am I going to survive with a bomb eating my vibes? Oh, uh, if I keep him around, he's going to eat all my vibes. 
My mind's made up now. You guys are worthy of my power. Take this. It's a floating bomb. The explosive pixel named Boomer became your friend. <laughs> I got a Boomer in my party. Use Boomer's power to blow up foes and destroy blocks. When you want to switch pixels, just go to the pixel menu and, you know, swap. Each second explodes into the next. Subamo. Bombs away. Sboom. Great. I've got a bomb. Oh, wow. That, it, that does not get thrown. I have blown up a secret into the wall. Look at this chest. It's full of wonder. And trading cards. It's a watch it card. I want to read the dex entry for old man watch it. That is the most important thing that we have access to right now. Where is watch it? Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Where is watch it? Watch it. God darn it. There it is. He's a two star rarity. Look at him. Look at that tasteful mustache. That impeccably kept beard that marvelously sculpted cane the way his torso fits into his sternum like a puzzle piece his his boots are oddly angular and placed on different f sides of his body he's incredible old man watch it is the crotchety mayor of yoletown his job is to keep people from going to the ruins you know lawsuits and all that watch it you would not imagine, you would not believe, could not imagine even, how many lawsuits that man has to deal with. He was a lawyer in his younger years. He's gotten so many people thrown in jail. It's the reason why his catchphrase is watch it, because he's constantly needing to watch his back from spiteful convicts. Which is not good, because we've already seen these convicts thus far in the world. We need to prevent them from ever finding out that we have any kind of acquaintanceship with Watch It. Can I put the the thing? Boom. Ow. Boom. Blow up. You're way too slow. Fine. You're way too slow. Switch to throw. Go. Ow. That doesn't hurt me. How does that not hurt me? It's a miracle. Doesn't matter. Let's continue. Boomer. Go. Bomb. Boom. Boom again. One more boom. Three-dimensional boom. Oh, wow. That didn't work. How did that not work? Why did that not work? What door do we go through? We have four doors. We have one, two, three, and four. I'm going to flip a card, and whatever card it lands on... No, there's a four in the, the score title. That's the first digit we go in door four. <gasps> Goomba. Hi, Goomba. Can I kill you? Oh, I can force the bomb to explode. Oh, that's incredible. Man, if only I had the ability to uh, do something marvelous. Would I be able to? I don't have a mushroom or a shell for that. I don't know that speedrunning trick. I know many things about many other things, but not how to do that. No, I don't. Oh my god, look at this dude. <laughs> look at his feet. He's dead. I'm sorry, I had to kill him. I had to. It, it, I'm, so, I'm sorry, but it had to be done. There was no other choice. He was in the way. I didn't know how else to deal with him. And as I do with all of my problems, if I don't know how to deal with them, I just blow them up. <gasps> Another one, hi. You, you good? You good, friend? Another floor. Why Why? Ha why has someone patched the hole? Oh, this is... Well, I can get my money, if nothing else. There's nothing like a good old Mario-style Ponzi scheme. Did I just go in a circle? I feel like I just went in a circle. How did I go in a circle? Don't put tippy, please. What is in door four? The secret fourth, or the first door? This is another Goomba. Die. Did that blow up the thing as well? <gasps> it did. <gasps> a switch. We are making progress. Oh my gosh, I know what I'm doing. I'm not a stupid fool. Well, that was awfully rumbly. Something must have happened outside. I'm sure it did. 
Hi, Goomba. I'm sure you're doing Goomba things? What is a Goomba's favorite pastime? It probably, oh, this is a different door color. This is a yellow door. They've turned off the door's RGB. This must be an older model. How crazy. <gasps> it's a, it's another butt. It's a cotton candy butt. Do, 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 do. Look at this place. This is a place. Ow, no, I'm asleep. Oh God, no, 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 not this again. Oh no, 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 it didn't work. Here, uh, uh, butt dude, can you wake me up please? Oh, thank you. I cannot afford to be put to sleep right now. Hey, quick, break the box. Do, 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 end of chapter. Incredible. Do you want to save your progress? Yes, I do. Indeed, I do. But we will save our progress in the next episode because that is the end of this episode. An incredible amount of progress was made. We found out Peach's true feelings about Mario rescuing her and how she's an ungrateful sow. And we've also figured out that we've got a bomb. We've got bombs. We're going to bomb Peach's art collection in the next episode. So whether you watched this episode of Super Paper Mario over 30 seconds or the entire gosh diddly darn thing, thank you so much for tuning in. And I will see you on the next episode. Later.